Welcome to Calimera USA. Today's guest is Diane Mantuvalos, creative director of the One Grease campaign, who is going to talk to us about a brand new effort sponsored by the Hellenic Initiative Organization that aims to help Greece recover from the crisis. Hi, Diane. Thank you so much for being here with us. You guys are doing wonderful, wonderful things. Thank you so much. It's a privilege to really be involved and well, to be here with you today. Well, thank you. Thank you so much about you. Tell us about the One Greece campaign. The One Greece campaign, um, which as you mentioned is sponsored by the Hellenic Initiative, is a fundraising and awareness campaign that really the main thrust of it is to mobilize the diaspora. There's no doubt that we've all seen the headlines on CNN and Bloomberg and CNBC, and it does seem to continue and drip, 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 whether it's something going on with the, the government or the debt or even worse at times. This is really an effort to say to people, listen, we're all out there. We all want to get involved somehow. This is just a platform to do that. And it is um, a way to make a donation. And you can earmark your donation for a number of efforts, from crisis relief to entrepreneurship to economic growth and development, which is more of a longer term initiative. So the One Greece uh, with the Hellenic Initiative. So people who donate to the One Greece goes to the Hellenic yes, Initiative. Yes, of course. It's all okay. it's all one. The campaign is really a creative campaign. Right. For and the Hellenic Initiative. Sure, sure. I mean, it's it's really a way to start talking to people directly and engaging Greeks around so the world. So this is a, a, in an effort to uh, kind of uh, a, a give an awareness that there isn't, it's always this bad press, but this bad press isn't true. Listen, we're here to tell a new story. There are already great things happening on the ground, and I actually was there for the last three months, so I was able to see for myself. You know, I heard both sides. Um, you know, talked to a lot of taxi drivers, talked to a lot of taverna owners, but at the same time, I talked to some of the oligarchs. So I was really, uh, you know, I called it my big fat Greek focus group. <laughs> and it was my way as a Greek American to see for myself what's really happening. And I can tell you for sure, I mean, there were no problems this summer. It was a wonderful summer. I have um, to agree. Yep, wonderful there, summer in just, Greece. Just, you know, a few protests that were totally civilized and totally understandable, right. um, rooted in passion and beliefs. Um, and the other things that you see that always bubble up to the mainstream media in the U.S. are always the really provocative things, you know, the, the smoke canisters and, and the masks. And these are awful, awful image, images. You they know, have remained. They have unfortunately remained. But we're not the only country that has had these images. Of course not. Right. And, and for sure, Greece isn't uh, Tunisia. It's right. not Egypt. Right. Thank heavens. Right. And we are at a point, I, I would almost call it a lull. Or England, We're because a, England has had these <laughs> and, you know, Greeks are, images. Greeks are not a violent years. people. We're right. not a violent people. No, we're not. We just want to dream and work like everybody else yes. and, you know, bring good things to the world. Yes. Greeks love life. Greeks really love do. life. And that's what you'll see when you watch the OneGreece.org video. You'll see a lot of passion come through. Um, I, I did write the script, but the script is also powered and crowdsourced by the guests themselves in the video. So yes, there was, um, there was a loose script, but then, as you know, because you're in the video, along with several <laughs> other amazing people, uh, contributed their me. own words. And really, that's what it was about. It was about a, creating a mosaic, a narrative that can only be told by Greeks themselves. So yes, we love watching the stories on the news and yeah. these, you know, provocative headlines and they grab us and they and the drama but at the end of the day you know we're just we're just trying to all get together mm -hmm. this campaign and say maybe if you feel the same way I do and you and I get in a room together or on a phone call or on a Skype call maybe there's something more that we can do maybe we can collaborate for the betterment of Greece so there's a lot of wonderful people in this video and I'm a big fan of Atetokumbo Yanis Atetokumbo who has a wonderful story behind him uh, and you guys have a lot of great people. Thank you. Yes. Um, before I, I tell you how I got the NBA player, I have to first tell you this is not a celebrity video. Uh, oftentimes, a lot of these one campaigns, like the, uh, the one in Africa, they, they get top-level celebrities, and it's all about you know, engaging the public. That's not what we did here. Yes, we happen to have him, and we have you. <laughs> but really, it was about who, who has a voice out there, who's really talking, who is not afraid to say 
what's on their mind. That's what this video is really all about. And I have to tell you, we, how we got to the NBA player was very happenstance. Um, someone who works uh, in media for the NBA, Nikos, Nikos who we, a Nikos mutual Nikos friend Fayon, of us, who's a mutual he friend. has been, we've been following each other on Twitter for many, many years. And one thing I love about social Great media, guy. even though somebody might be a world away, you can tell if they're simpatico with you on some ideas. Yes, yes. And you tend to, you know, develop a lot of respect for people whom you've never even met. This is quite fascinating. And uh, believe it or not, a lot of what I do is really based in social media. Um, yes, my background is media and PR, but when Yanis met me, he came, uh, I'm sorry, when Nikos came to meet me at New Hotel in Athens, and again, it was only because he knew I was in town, he said, let's have a coffee. That's how it all started. He said, you know something, I know the agent you know, of the He's NBA. Amazing, and yeah. I said, oh, He's got great ideas. Amazing. And you know, he did this, and it was, I am not ashamed to say, I'm sure he's not either. It was no fee. He did it because he believes in Greece. No, of course. And of course. he but believes. But we all believe in Greece. And, we all want to help Greece. And, and especially the Greek Americans. The Greeks yeah. abroad are. You know, we want to get involved, and that's why we're here supporting you, and you're supporting everyone else, and we're all trying to, we're domino affecting. That's the idea. You know? It Go viral. Yes. And if it's contagious, and you know, everyone has reason to be a little bit disappointed with how things have gone the last few, few, few years. But you know, um, I think one of the things that I heard a lot in the three months I was there, and I had some combative conversations over cocktails a few times, I would hear... Things will never change. By whom? And who was saying that? A variety of people. But are they Greeks or, or oh, people? Oh, Greeks, no, Greeks, Greeks and Greece. No, Greeks and Greece. Greeks and Greece said things will never change. Yes, and that that hurt me because I thought they really, they really, um, that hurt me because I thought they actually believe that. And, you know, I think I, I did a tweet about it and I said, you know what? If you believe things will never change, that they won't. Guess what? Yeah. They never will. So perhaps, I mean, you know, the Greek people do need to change their perception uh, about their reality, and they might need to be able to change. That's the only way that they will be able to change. Listen, it's not enough to just say hope and, you know, believe in something good. You have to you believe need, in it. No, you you ha have to believe in it. Yes, yeah. but it's, you also need to see some actions. You need to see that people care. And, you know, if someone's putting their hand out, not for a hand out per se, but to help you, yes. to take your hand and to say, let me help you stand. This is very powerful, and sometimes that's all it takes. Let's talk a little bit about the Hellenic Initiative, who is doing things. They are putting things into action. What do they do exactly to help Greece? They're re they're, the Hellenic Initiative is rooted in three main tenets. Uh, crisis relief, supporting those organizations on the ground that are, that are having the greatest impact. Uh, also, entrepreneurship, nurturing, uh, entrepreneurs and catalyzing the environment that should help future startups take root in Greece. And then lastly, and I would say more longer term, is economic growth and development. This is probably the, one of the most important parts. Of course, crisis relief is, but at the same time, it's the longer range uh, future of Greece, attracting global investment, for example. This is very, very, very important to Greece's future. So they're also involved in efforts in those areas. Yeah, well, this is great. A lot of uh, Greeks from abroad are coming together. This is another organization that's come together to help uh, support Greece in this crisis. And the One campaign is supporting the Hellenic Initiative. You guys are doing great things, but I want to hear a little bit about you. Oh. Tell me about your background. You're 100% you're Greek from Boston. Yes, my father was born in Greece in Monomvasia. My mother uh, is born in Boston, but her parents are both from Mani area. So uh, that makes for an interesting That's upbringing. A nice, being, nice mix. Yes, yeah. it is a nice mix. Passionate people. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you're calling it passionate. Yes, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we like to use that word drama and passion. Right, That's right, yeah, right. This this goes with the territory. Um, you know, it's helped me in my career. I will say, I grew up in a city that was uh, well. My neighborhood was largely uh, Irish Catholic. You know, blue collar neighborhood, Irish Catholic. We were considered minorities, exotic uh, at that time. And I I'm always proud to say that Greeks have gone on to turn the furniture store into a church. They bought all the real estate. Now they're the, the most, of you know, Very the large landlords. population of Greeks in Boston. Huge yeah. amount of Greeks in Boston and in Lowell, where my grandmother was born. So, uh, yeah, I, I didn't really integrate into the Greek-American community when I was young or even in college. And it wasn't until later in life when I 
took the trip with my dad down to his village uh, in Mani, in Peloponnesus. And connected to And your connected roots. to my heritage. And I can't, I, every Greek American, I can say, if you're only going to Mykonos, you're missing the boat, yeah. or you should miss that you boat, and you place. should go to where your grandparents, your yaya papu, where they're from, do whatever you can to connect to your yeah. roots, because it, there's nothing stronger. It turns your life around. I mean, totally that's what we want to tell the Greeks, uh, the Greek Americans, is definitely visit the homeland if you haven't yet, uh, to discover your parents, for sure, but also to discover your DNA, where you come from, and what your culture is. Because the moment that you step into Greece, we guarantee you, Diana and I, <laughs> you will be awakened. Greece will awaken inside of you. You guys are doing great things. We're going to leave. Darling. We're going to leave our audience off with a little bit of your OneGreece.org campaign, and we hope to hear more of you guys and have you back on our show. Thank you so much. It's been a privilege. I am one. I am one. I am one. I am one. I am one person. I am one person. But together. Together. Mazi. We are an idea. Idea. No walls. No borders. No limits. No limit to what we can do. Greeks have lost a lot, a lot. But there's one thing you can't take from us. You cannot take away our smile. You cannot take away our nature. Our fire, our honor, pride, our love of people. My home, my family, my memories. Most of all, never, ever will anyone be able to take away the Hellenic spirit. Nobody can take my identity. We're not going anywhere. But up. Forward. Together. Why should people care? My heart actually bleeds for Greece right now. We are family. We have the same blood running in our veins for thousands of years. These people are me. And don't let anyone tell you Greeks are lazy. Lazy? Really? That's not what I'm seeing. Not what I'm doing. We have no shortage of drive. We just want to work. To build. To dream. To dream. Time to build the Greek dream. Because we need to try something new. Because Greece needs heroes. It's gonna take time. Money. Energy. Imagination. But if we work together. Actions, not words. We can spark a revolution. Of doers. And donors. Like you. Like me. Like me. Like, why not? Why not take the journey? For Greece. For Greece. For Greece. For Greece. Yet in Elada. Because Greece is unique. Because this crisis doesn't have to define us. Because I need to dream. Let's tell a new story. As kanme me anerhi. Together. All together. Let's tell a new story. Let's tell a new story together. No tragedy. No drama. Well, maybe some drama. Hey, we're Greeks after all. No excuses. It will be collaborative, creative, refreshing. It will be inspiring. It will be fun. Fantastico. It will be epic. History is ours. History is ours for the making. The birthplace of civilization is back. We can do this. But only if you join us. Let's do this. We can do this. Together. Come home. To one grace. Mazi. Mazi. Ella. We are one Greece. I am one Greece. One Greece. Mia Elada. He must have Mia Elada. Oli Mazi. Oli Mazi. Oli Mazi. We are one Greece. We are one Greece.org. <laughs>